Aloha guys and welcome back. This time we are playing Seraph. Now if you caught one of my live streams a while ago, I believe I put the video up as well, uh, you'd have seen me play this game before. And if you saw it, I hit a bug right at the end of one of the earlier levels, the fourth level. I couldn't actually kill, well, kill the boss and then when I did kill the boss, uh, <laughs> the door wouldn't open so I couldn't progress to the next level. Um, yeah, that's now been fixed. Thanks to the guys at Dreadbit. They did a really cool live stream where one of the guys from Dreadbit was playing the game, showing off some tweaks they'd made, and he was actually playing it through the editor itself. Uh, one of the programmers was in chat as well, and they were live fixing bugs at the same time. Uh, they were checking out some issues that uh, people like myself had encountered and they know about. This was actually one of the bugs they fixed. Um, the programmer managed to pin down what it was and and sorted it out so it patched yesterday and I can finally play it. I'm not- the problem was the bug was only with Twitch mode. I'm not playing it in Twitch mode this time. So I'm just gonna start a standard new game. Not on Twitch mode. Standard. See you've got standard. Twitch mode as uh, Twitch writing if you didn't watch the stream. This is at the end of a level um, the viewers on the stream can vote whether to give the player a a boost for the next level or to make the next level harder for them by increasing the difficulty number of enemies, war, chances of lockdown areas, spawning, things like that. It's pretty cool. Um, Speedrun mode, which is I imagine going to be pretty pretty good with uh, streaming as well. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hard. Okay, so the difficulty levels ramp up anyway as the game progresses and you can see the difficulty in the bottom left, but yeah, difficulty 7 is insane. Difficulty 4 I can't even deal with right now, so I'm going to start standard. <laughs> now because I've set to skip the tutorial level, I think part of the storyline is going to be missing. So, short version, you are Seraph, who is an angel uh, in a human body who has just woken up in a prison that was built for her. Uh, she has woken up and met this person, mysterious person known as Guide, who is actually guiding her through her memory. Seraph's memory is a little bit sketchy. Um, there, All the guards are dead and it said there are a ton of demons around. Good stuff. So we have to kind of clear each level find out what's going on and try and escape. So I've been in this location before though it was some years ago not long after this prison was built for me I was being transferred. I could feel the presence of another demon lieutenant. You must find it and destroy it. Cool. They're very nice chests at the start. So the chests contain moats which are basically your XP and this is Seraph. So it's I'm using a controller to play it which is arguably the only way to play this game because movement you'll see when I get into a fight. She's pretty cool. She's got double jumper standard which I absolutely love. Tons of moats around right at the start. It's quite a nice level. So there we go. Double jump and she hangs onto ledges. Uh, I've got loads of abilities. Okay let's go through the UI bits because there's some really cool stuff on here. The difficulty at the bottom as you can see is just 1.0 at the moment. That will go up as the level progresses. We have three buttons in the middle. X is kind of like a smite attack when some enemies, uh, when they die, they have a circle with an X in it. You go to there and basically smite them and you get bonus stuff. Y and B are the two abilities that I've chosen right now. So Y is repel and B is orb. I will show you what these do when they get into a game. And you can see that my weapon at the moment is pistols mark one with infinite ammo, which is freaking cool. Even the simple guns are good. So here we go. It is literally just move and shoot. Use the left stick to move around as you do in most games. Ooh, sigil one. Sigil is another, um, I think they're called oath. It's another ability that you can craft. Oh, hello. So yeah, it's literally just left stick to move around, um, right trigger to shoot. And kind of, it's kind of like equilibrium bayonetta style because her guns, you don't need to target an enemy, her guns track. Which is very, very cool. There are many different types of guns, and excuse me while I dodge these enemies. <laughs> yeah, there's many different types of guns. There's like submachine guns, there's assault rifles, there's shotguns. Pretty cool. And you can pick those up in chests throughout the game. And maybe I'll see them. They've also got this ability called Blink, which is what that is. Which does exactly as, as you might expect. You blink across places in the level. It's kind of like a, a teleport. And you can see underneath level one at the top, you can see LT. 
and two little bars that tells those are your blink kind of cooldowns really so they're good for kind of dodging enemy attacks and getting out of the way of fights like i almost needed to then oh hello nice of you to drop in ah here we go i can smite this guy for epic loot so the little arrow is telling me where to go but i want to go for a bit exploring first oh and i found myself a friend oh god i found a few of them it's a good time to use if i kill them all oh i was going to use orb and show you what that was but i kind of killed them all already uh the boss fight would be a good time to show them actually so i just collect all the moats which are getting me close to leveling up Leveling up was, was all the kind of usual things you'd expect. Aha, here we go. This is a weapon chest, and this has got a submachine gun Mark 1 in it. I will take that. So you use the right bumper to swap through weapons. Submachine gun uh, does have limited ammo, but I have 229 rounds, as you can see. Some people hold on to them for boss fights. I just like using them because, well, the, the weapon crates aren't too few and far between, to be honest. So. Base holes and paying enough attention. There we go. Just get that last moat. Cool. That's quite here we go. Not that guy. This guy. Not that guy. Where's he gone? This guy. Hello. Oh wait, my machine is staring through him. Another one I can smite. There we go. Collected quite a bit of stuff off him too, that's pretty nice. Oh hello, you scared me, I thought you were a chest hiding in the corner there. Okay, so I've cleared this ground floor. You don't have to clear every level. I like it because bonus stuff. It doesn't love bonus stuff. So it's now a case of finding where to go up, and I think I've gone the wrong way. Yes, I have. Bottom me. I see blink to move a little bit faster. So there we go. This is where I should have gone. So most of it is just double jumping and moving, navigating through a level. The guns are automatically tracking enemies, as you can see. Hello. <laughs> so you can use double jump and blink to get around. Blink's got quite a fast recharge anyway, but um, there's certain orbs and special things you can pick up that make it recharge even faster. And obviously, if you're in Twitch mode, it's one of the things players can choose to be good or evil for whether to give you a longer cooldown. Oh, ow. And again, I missed it. I'm being an idiot right now. I was going to show you Rappel. Ah, I fluffed it up both times. What um. Ah, I thought that was a chest as well. Darn it. I'm not doing a good run already. <laughs> so it's. Oh, no, that's my gun. There we go. So blink is great because it works in every single direction. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. I am just clearing out enemies for this level now. It's over here that I need to go. But yeah, I just love... It's really fluid as well, and especially when you get into a proper flow of it. It takes a while to get into a flow, I find. This is the lieutenant that we're after, I believe. Let me grab these orbs over here first. Oh, and for some reason, ah, my submachine gun is out of ammo, so let's blink out of the way of him. This is the guy we need to find. And that was Repel. Pretty cool. So you can either jump to dodge it, or if you have Repel, you can press, I've got it assigned to Y. Now the purple one's track, so I tend to kind of blink out of the way of these, and he brings out two of them, that's not fair. Ow, as you can see. So I'm going to start shooting him with my pistols and if you look at his health bar you can see there's three stages to it so you have to as you might expect kill him once smite him then you can shoot him again What's he got? He's got here there we go so that's stage one smite him move on to stage two and see the good thing about the gun tracking is that they track certain degree anyway, even when the enemy's off screen. Oh, I jumped into that one, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go, round two. 
And that is orb. And kill me. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> so what orb does is it fires a an orb, as you might expect, out. Um, and it does damage on the way there, and I believe it does double damage on the way back. So, kind of, it's basically Sarah's boomerang weapon, and it's really cool. It's one of the starting ones you get, and I actually really, really like it. Um, it's pretty cool for a starting one, it's a really useful one too. I don't know where this guy's gone now, because the door's... Oh, decided to come chill in this corner. Okay, mate. And... Boom! So I've collected a whole lot of stuff, as you can see. And now, okay, have you noticed the difficulty's gone up to- Ooh, I thought it was another enemy then, that scared me. The difficulty's gone up to 1.05. So the level's now clear, we can go to the exit and hold the right bumper to ascend. This truly is a terrible place. Humans are capable of crafting such suffering. I do not blame you for losing your faith. I did not lose my faith. How can you suggest such a thing? No, something else must have caused a demonic incursion. Sibling demons can only be allowed to manifest on the plane of reality with the assistance of one of our kind. You know this. No, you're wrong. There must be another way, a way that neither you nor I am aware of. I'm not doing a very good job with the voices today. It's really, really warm outside. My throat's taking a bit of a beating. So that took me eight minutes to get through. I was talking quite a lot. Um, shards are what you use to kind of upgrade skills. Uh, my accuracy was 74%, which meant I spent a lot of time, well, 26% shooting at wolves. I found all the collectibles on the level, though, which is pretty cool. So, blessings, that's what they are. Blessings are things that you get occasionally when you level up. They are extra boosts to things. I don't have any yet. This is a new game. Upgrades are the big thing. So, oaths are... Ooh, pretty cool. So, oaths are kind of things, again, that boost your stuff. So, split fire damage from dual-wielded weapons is increased when attacking two enemies at once, which is what I end up doing quite a lot of time because I end up jumping in the middle of them going, Aha! Oh, God! So, there we go. Um, and for these you place shards which are things you've been collecting so there are five different types of shards from common all the way up to supreme you can combine three of the common shards to get an uncommon nine to get a rare yeah continue on like that so i'm actually gonna create a couple of these i only have nine of these but i'm gonna place them for now because why not uh starting health increase already got one Maximum health increase on level up is increased. That was pretty good. I might take that actually. Let's put Photios in there. Enemies have a chance of dropping an additional moat on death. That's pretty good because that will help pretty much everything. Why have I not got one left? Oh, because I don't have any shard value in holy yet. Ah. Well, I might as well hang on. Okay, I may as well just use them all up. And then transmutation is weapons and things. I can craft pistol spark too! Excellent, I am going to do that. Pistol spark 2 unlocked. Standard sidearm for Corangulus defense forces. They are signed in pairs for multiple target acquisition and feature infinite magazine capacity due to kinetically charged energy cells. Ta-da! So we've got auto pistols, rail rail guns. I've forgotten about rail guns. Revolvers, shotguns, submachine guns. So many things. So many things. You've got wards, which are items that you can carry. Um, they all do different things, as you can see on there. You also pick them up from lockers, the same as you do with weapons. Miracles. This is what they are, not oaths. This is all the extra things like. Disintegration is a passive miracle that has served to destroy and one two weapons. Uh, nah, not really too bothered about that. Uh, sigil is a good one. Lightwell is a good one. So there's like the guns with multiple levels of each miracle as well. So there we go. Orb um, does a certain amount of damage on the way out and doubles on the way back. So that just increases the damage on it. Repel. Um, oh, that's got a, a wider range on it, I think. So Lightwell. Ah, light while I've unlocked as well. Um, that's pretty cool. You can use, the combinations of these are really, really good. There's some really, really cool combinations. So light well is the kind of one that you drop down and it creates a, um, a shaft of light that does damage to any enemy that passes through it. So if you use that and repel, you can lure them to walk through one way and take damage, then use repel to push them back through it. They take more damage and then they still want to come towards you and they can possibly go through it a third time. How cool is that? But for now, I'm going to stick with the other ones, so I'm going to continue. 
Gonna get one more level done, I think. But this is a kind of, it's a really addictive game because of its just pure, I don't want to say simplicity. Its gameplay is pretty simple. You run around and you shoot stuff. But you have to dodge stuff and you have to, you can choose which guns you want to use for your style, which miracle combinations you want to use for your style. Obviously the difficulty's ramping up all the time. So there's different types of enemies with different types of attacks that you have to take into account. Lots of different levels to this game. It's really, really cool. So, where is everyone? Where are the guards? The wretched pilgrims who would visit me and revel in my misery. Gone. Consumed by the incursion. Many of them are now inhabited by demonic souls, twisted and deformed. You have surely felt their presence trapped within your foes. Ugh. I... I have felt this, yes. A fitting end for them. For them all. For an angel, she doesn't really show a whole lot of remorse sometimes. Hello! So you're shooting bad things at me. I don't like this. And I'm going to use that and run away. Oh, ow. I was going to say a few of the times I used blink and then I didn't realise there's a wall there and I blinked into the wall. Well done me. Okay, so it wants me to go down so I immediately go, I want to go up, thanks. Because I'm contrary like that and I also like finding one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping not to have them. This is a sector lockdown. As you can see, there is no countdown going on. This is how long I'm locked in this area for. Uh, sorry, I had to pay attention then. So I'm locked in this area for the 38 seconds and enemies are going to be constantly spawning. Yay! Um, unless you kill them too quickly, it's like they don't. <laughs> there we go. So yes, so the sector literally just closes off. You get this nice red glow and that nice little warning siren that you heard. Ugh, hello. And then it is just kill everything and try not to die. Ow. And don't do stupid things like that. I'm still pretty idiotic at this game sometimes. Come on, sector lockdown, be over. I'm being a fool. Okay, there we go. We've gone to a nice, nice standard clean. Oh, hello you. That's nice and easy. So yeah, there we go. There's another feature, sector lockdowns. There's also little special hidden rooms where you find switches. Oh, I was expecting there to be some moats up there, there isn't. Um, yeah, you can find switches. And somewhere nearby there will be a door that the switches open. Ooh, there we go. Speak of one, one appears. So you, much like the weapon lockers, you tap RB to open, unlock the door. You will then get an icon on screen which tells you which direction the door is, and you have to get there before the door locks again. So it is over here, and I have a certain number of seconds. Thankfully, that one was a nice, easy one. In here are, oh, there we go. I've now got some assault rifles, and for the moment, I have double experience, which is pretty cool. I don't really want revolvers, thanks. I should have picked that up last, but oh well. But yeah, so you get special orbs in here, which means all the moats I'm currently collecting are giving me double XP. This is an item, so I've now got a ruby coin, which gives me physical protection, unholy protection. It's already doing anything for my health, but that's fine. Lots of moats. And a log entry, which I'm not going to read right now. I haven't actually read any of them, but they are pretty cool, I've been told. So there we go. The buffs actually last quite a long time. So the double XP that I'm getting is um, still ongoing. And you get a nice, a nice long time out of it. So if, like me, you kind of pick it up a bit sooner than you wanted to, you're not hugely punished for it. It's kind of annoying because you're not really maximizing it. Which, if you're going to play this game for any length of time, you will find yourself trying to min max the hell out of it. So this door is still locked. Which means there is something I haven't done. And I'm chewing through my assault rifle ammo already. There's one way over there. I'll take your moats, please. So there is something down here, which I can hear. See my. Ooh, hello. My difficulty has gone up to 124 already. Oh, I killed both of them pretty quickly. Assault rifles are pretty good. There we go. How are everything now? Ah, here we go. Here's the lieutenant. Ooh, double 
whammy. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Back to my pistols. I heard the, I heard the gun sound effect change, which means, but I'm on my Mark II pistols now. Oh, Fury, I got stuck on a wall. That happened quite a bit. Ah. Ah. Oh, lots of XP. Lots of shard fragments. Beautiful stuff. And now the door is open. So I'm going to quickly just check out over here. Make sure I'm making more friends. Which is not what I wanted to do, but I'll take those moats anyway. See, I didn't realise to start with that there was kind of a little, just a little quiet statistic. It's like, oh, good job, you collected every collectible in this level. As soon as I found out that was a thing, it's like, well, now I really want to clear every level because having that nice one 100% is really cool. To the point where I, oh my lord, that was mean. Hang on a second, chaps. That's not very nice, hiding all the way up there. But unsuspecting people like me. Naughty, naughty. So, as I was trying to say, is I like going up here for things like this. Not expecting to see two enemies up there, but uh, sneaky devils that they are. Well done. Oh, I thought I saw another moat down there then. So this is Seraph. It is in early access right now. Uh, as you can probably tell from what I said earlier, the devs are still actively working on the game. They're doing pretty damn regular updates, I've got to say. Um, every week, if well, every two week at least, if not every week. Um, they're very active on Twitter. They do their own live streams. They're very cool people. I highly suggest checking them out. I also highly suggest checking this game out because it is, Bay if you like Bayonetta, if you like the film Equilibrium, which I really, really do, this is just good. You can lose yourself in this game for absolutely hours. And trust me, I have done, which is saying something because my patience for games is not great. So this game has obviously hit something very special for me. I am absolutely loving it. With each shard I collect, I feel my strength return. Indeed, we have a long way to go yet, sibling. Push onwards. So while she pushes onwards, I'm going to push off. But thank you guys for watching. Please, please do check out this game. Hey, I get a blessing as well. So, I can quickly just explain these before I go. Uh, smite attacks on regenerating demons will heal, which considering how often I take damage is pretty good. Increases XP and from the moats. Oh, that's pretty good. Double jumping near and do more damage them with it. Ooh. Enemy struck with a weapon fight are chilled, slowing them up. I want all of them. God damn it. I do jump around a lot. I do take a lot of damage. But increasing XP means I'm going to get these more often. Uh, I'll go with demonic listening. Why not? cool as i was saying thank you very much guys for watching please do check this game out uh i'll if i remember i'll try and put links in the description where you can check out the guys at dreadbit because they're doing some amazing work with this i cannot hype this game enough it has really struck a chord with me it's been a long time since i find a game that i can just lose myself in for hours so great job guys until next time guys bye